Hi, I'm Rashi and I'm the founder at Nutrition and Sync, where we specialize in health concerns like PCOS, endometriosis, gut health, weight loss and diabetes. And today I'm here to tell you about collagen. But let me begin with this. Collagen can't be vegan. Yes, you've heard that right. Now, unfortunately, there's no such thing as true vegan collagen. And before I get into the details, let's first understand some basics about collagen, what it is and why it can't be vegan. Now, the thing is that collagen is the most abundant protein in your body. Natural collagen can only be found in bones, muscles, tendons, ligaments and your skin. Collagen is like that glue that gives our skin the structure and provides elasticity and that plump. So when we use the term real collagen or a good collagen supplement, it should consist of a form of protein that is extracted from the bones, ligaments, muscles and tendons of animal sources like beef, chicken or fish. You cannot and I can't emphasize enough, you cannot get this when you buy vegan or plant-based versions that you get in the market. Most often your vegan collagen has collagen boosting ingredients like vitamin C and copper but not real collagen. Now we naturally have collagen in our body. In fact one third of the protein in our body is in the form of collagen. It's the most abundant protein like I said right. Collagen comes from the Greek word which literally means glue and it um, is like like I said the glue of our body. It's strong, it's springy, it's a fibrous substance that's woven into our body's tissues keeping it nice and tight and healthy, especially in our skin, hair, nails, tendons and bones. It is made up of four essential amino acids, glycine, proline, hydroxyproline and arginine. All of these, by the way, not only help your skin, but also have a dramatic effect on healing your gut lining. Now, before you reach out to buy your next collagen supplement, here are a couple of things I want you to consider. Number one is the type of collagen you're buying. Now there are about 28 different types of collagen, but there are three essential types which are actually important for our body, all right? Number one is the type one. Now this is majorly for skin elasticity and has excellent anti-aging properties. It's found both in marine and bovine, but majorly found in marine collagen. And it's also the most effective type because it gets absorbed really quickly in our bloodstream and it gets to work. Type 2 is found in chicken and bovine collagen. Now this collagen makes up approximately 10% of the collagen in the body and is mainly located in our cartilage. So it's great for people who have joint pain, who struggle with ligament support, um, you know even people who have rheumatoid arthritis do really well on this one. Then there's type 3. Now this is the collagen that's most abundant in our body tissues and the major function is skin elasticity, healthy hair and nails, it also improves circulation and the best part is it's amazing for the gut. Now this is majorly found in bovine sources. Now if you're looking for all of these benefits then of course choose a supplement which mainly consists of a combination of all these types but if your major concern is related to skin, anti-aging, skin elasticity then just marine collagen works perfectly well. The second thing I want you to consider it is the molecular weight of the collagen. The size of the collagen matters and it's called the molecular weight and it's measured in Daltons. The molecular size also tells us the bioavailability. The smaller the collagen molecule, the easier it is for our body to actually digest it. Now, when you're looking for collagen supplement, less than 3000 DA is optimal. The third thing is, and this is pretty important, when you're buying a collagen supplement, make sure it has added antioxidants like vitamin E and vitamin C because these together with collagen will help in better absorption. Lastly, please don't fall for any brand that tells you that it's going to give you instant results. That's not how our body works. Your skin has a 30 day cycle and that's what it should take for you to see some sort of changes. But you've got to be consistent with this. Now, how does one really know that they need collagen, right? When you age, your body reduces the amount of collagen it makes naturally. Uh, even the existing collagen is used up at a much faster rate. Now, this can start as early as your mid 20s. You lose 1% of collagen every year. But the collagen in your body cannot be really measured. Like you can't take an actual blood test to see what's going on. But you can be aware and pick up on those little signs and cues that your body gives. For example, there'll be visible wrinkles on your skin or there'll be a saggy skin. Hollowing in and around of your eyes and face. That says that you're probably losing collagen. Joint pain or stiffness. A lot of people post COVID are also struggling with this. Muscle aches. Even gut issues, for example, inflammation of the lining of your digestive tract. 
all of these are cues that your body is giving that you probably should start using a collagen supplement. I'm a fan of these mainly for the effect they have on gut healing because if your gut is okay, there's a lot of stuff in your body that just works fine. Your gut, guys, is literally your superpower. Now, I do want to leave you with a couple of other things that actually drain your collagen production. Uh, some of them include things like UV radiation damage, smoking, even things like shisha. Consuming way too many carbs, uh, mainly refined carbs or even a lot of active carbs which you're not able to use. And last but not the least, stress. This is one of the major factors that accelerates the breakdown of collagen. It is the main cause of collagen loss in skin and it's responsible for 80 to 90% of skin aging. Look, when you are constantly stressed out and repeated short-term stress basically causes the production of ROS, which is free radicals and depletes the antioxidant pool in our body. Chronic stress causes chronic immune dysfunction, it increases production of radi free radicals and then there's also DNA damage, all of which leads to skin aging. Now here are some simple things that you can actually do so you can reverse or slow down this process. Start with taking a good collagen supplement, of course. But just remember, again, that collagen can't be vegan. So anyone who tries to tell you that uh, vegan collagen is actually good for you, please understand it only has collagen boosting ingredients and make them understand this fact as well, that collagen cannot be vegan. Secondly, please stop smoking. And again, like I said, this includes shisha. Next, your skin actually has the ability to regenerate. So old collagen breaks down to make room for new collagen. But smoking can actually reduce the production of new collagen as well and it can lead to early aging and visible wrinkles and we all know all of this, right? But one thing that we kind of forget is the effect of refined sugar on our skin. Stop having too much refined sugar, remove it from your diet completely for at least 30 days and you see the difference yourself. Also hydrate well, eat enough good fats, because literally every cell in our body has this layer of phospholipids or fat that's protective. So you want to start adding more ghee, butter, coconut oil, avocados, nuts, coconut meat and things like that. Also use a good sunscreen as this will keep you from premature aging, sunburns and pigmentation as well. I hope this was helpful guys. Thank you for watching and as usual if you have questions post them below. I'd love to take those up.